In this video, you are gonna learn how to set up GA4 e-commerce tracking. So as you can see, this is my WordPress WooCommerce website and I am going to set up the e-commerce tracking for Google Analytics 4. And of course, I will use Google Tag Manager because this is easy and smart way to set up conversion tracking and any kind of analytics. So first of all, we need to set up Google Tag Manager to our website. So you can connect Google Tag Manager with two different ways. Simply implement full code under the header or short code and use the plugin Google Tag Manager for WordPress and then simply implement this short code. And then go to integration and WooCommerce and track enhance e-commerce and then save change. Always I recommend this to use this plugin for connection Google Tag Manager. And when your uh, connection is ready, then go to preview and make sure your website is connected successfully. So you, as you can see, I'm going to on the preview mode in Google Tag Manager and my debug view say my tag assistant is successfully connected with Google Tag Manager. So now I'm going to show you how you can send this uh, kind of e-commerce event to your analytics dashboard. So as you can see, you can I, I am getting the view item list and the data layer also coming here. And uh, if I want to do another event, like if I uh, go on the home page and uh, if I open the new page uh, product so you can see if I scroll down it's actually a semi WooCommerce website but it's no problem the all the tracking will be the same so if I go another product then you will be able to see the view item event will showing here so it's loading and yes here it is so this is view item event and the ga4 data layer is ready so we need to send this uh, information to our analytics dashboard so that's why we need to make a new tag so first of all we need to make a new and google analytics and google tag so this is actually new tag so we need to make uh, we need to actually copy the measurement id so measurement id actually will be our google tag so you can see google analytics interface and now change a little bit so you will see on data collection and data stream and then if you hit here you can see the measurement id is here just copy and paste it it's actually our uh, google tag is ready so of course uh, you should choose all page as a trigger and then we need to make a new event for making all the event in the one tag. So actually this is the interesting setup. So input the same measurement ID and you can see Google tag found in this container. And the event name is choose event. So that's mean we need to send all the event to our analytics dashboard. And also we need to send some parameter by recommended to Google so let's find the Google uh, documentation so if I search GA4 event list you will be able to see a list of event uh, based on uh, your needs so you can see uh, of course actually our main focus on purchase event so that's why I am opening purchase and uh, I am going to copy the currency so this is actually the parameter we should send to our analytics so it's actually will be work for all the events so that's why uh, we are making uh, only for purchase but it will work for all events so we just uh, copy and paste the event parameter name and of course uh, in this short video we are uh, copying only required parameter so you can see the required are uh, its item ID also required just copy and paste and uh, the item name and this actually parameter are required for purchase event and other all are not so required so you can see currency you can make static and uh, here you can see we need to configure our variable by using the data layer variable and we need to uh, push the event from our data layer 
so you can see data layer pushes are collected some uh, variable and we need to send that data so for transaction id we need to copy actually we should choose the data layer variable and e-commerce and value and then save changes and uh, rename it it's a value oh it's sorry it will be the transaction id so we need to remove from here and we need to add it here so you can find your uh, value item here and uh, that's hit here and value is here so and then uh, we need to uh, collect the item id and transaction id also so if you scroll down you will be able to see a gf4 data layer sample already are and they have actually it's a demo implementation but we can uh, get an idea actually uh, eat this uh, data layer and our data layer is probably same so we need to copy that so just e-commerce uh, of course we, you should type e-commerce first and then uh, you we need to choose the transaction id so just make it so this is our transition id variable so it will uh, work dynamically so just copy and make the data layer variable and here you can see i am uh, using the same name as the event name uh, is a variable name and now it's item id and item id it's uh, under the uh, items so that's why we need to do another things which is e-commerce dot items uh sorry not item id so first of all we need to items so and then comma uh, dot zero dot item id okay just copy it and paste it so just make another variable which is uh, data layer variable and paste it here and save and so our item id is ready now we need to make our item name so item name will be the exact same only we replace the id to name so just see here it's id and name okay and save it so just name okay and then save it so you can see our setup is pretty ready we need to send another event which is recommended by google which is items so just items and make a another variable it's e-commerce dot items okay and then save it so our set configuration is uh, pretty ready now and now it's time to make a trigger so trigger we actually are gonna make a one trigger for all the event so just copy and the choose the custom event and paste this text so for your help i will uh, keep this event list on this video description so don't forget to check it out just copy and paste and click on use rejects max and then it will be our e-commerce event name so it's ready now and now save changes so i want to make a quick rename which is google analytics e-commerce so it, it uh, i am so okay the name is not accurate sorry for that okay it's not a big problem so actually let's check it out so i'm going to go on the preview mode again and as you can see uh, my website is loading and let's do a simple user journey just view a product and then add to cart a product 
and then uh, view cart so it's not working yep okay click on view cart and and then proceed to check out and then just complete this form and cash on delivery and place per order and uh, yes it successfully ordered done and let's check it out so you can see our tag is fired when i got purchased and you can see it's fired seven times so let's go to google analytics real-time data and you can see all the event are coming is here one by one so voice is pretty good right so you can see the purchase not coming yet but it will come so just wait so you can see purchaser one so that means purchase will come yeah here it is the purchase is now here so if i uh, open the purchase event from uh, the event section like if i go now uh, here and if i show you the value so here it is value so yeah 199 so that's mean value is accurate working so everything is working fine so when you submit and publish this version it will start working if you need my assist open my calendar link and book a 15 minute free pre-project call with your date and time and then fill up a little steps i would love to assist you if you think this video was useful then hit the thumbs up because it helps me to continue working on this channel and if you want to see more video from me then consider subscribing to this channel my name is nasim and i will see you on the next video till then bye have a good day